Hello all, it's me again. Uh, this is our day two at orientation um, here at Sierra England. We finally did go to bed last night about um, uh, three to about three or two this morning. We stayed at the um, Ramada Inn because they didn't have any room here, so. We took a taxi to the Ramada and um, woke up this morning and was shuttled over here for 6 o'clock a.m. Um, finally, they had a room for us, so we did check into our um, room, which me and um, my husband stays in the same room. And what else? Uh, oh, we lo they lost some luggage, so uh, there's two luggages that we don't have from Greyhound. We're looking for that. Um, today went pretty fast. Um, we um, the first thing we did was do the DOT physical. Then we had to take the um, drug test, which is a urinalysis. Then they do your eye check, your blood pressure. And um, the good thing is whenever you're sick or you need to see the doctor, it's only $10 to go see the doctor and get your prescriptions that you may need. They have a full medical staff here. And once we've done that, uh, we ate lunch. The food is a little bit expensive if you're going to be here for a while. Um, we do get shuttled back at 4 to uh, Walmart so we was able to buy food there there's no stove so you have to either um, heat up your food in the microwave or um, purchase something to eat downstairs there's two levels we're in what is called the um, couples um, room and um, And also they have a lot of things. They have a pool. I think they have a exercise room. They also have a pool table room with video games and um, all kinds of stuff. Um, they also have a, a men's TV lounge and a women's TV lounge. So the women can't be in the men's and the men's can't be in the women's. They have um, a bank here. Um, they also have, um, if you're missing any documents that you may need, like birth certificates, tax returns, um, marriage licenses, anything like that, they have an admin building that they actually uh, overnight your stuff here for you. Um, there's the Horizon building where you get your uh, truck once you get finished. And it's pretty big, so it's not too, there's a laundry room. There's also a computer room that you can go to computer lab. Everyone stays pretty um, busy and is in a um, certain stage of their training. Um, once we got finished with all that, uh, we went back to the room. I came up and actually went to sleep because I was so, so tired. I couldn't keep my eyes open. Um, I do have to go back tomorrow to the doctor um, to just check my blood pressure again because there was so much going on. It was a little elevated. But my blood pressure, uh, I think the medicine is in um, one of the bags. So, go figure. Um, we also got our paperwork today. Um, uh, we took the knowledge test, practice test today to um, test our knowledge skills. Uh, that took about a couple of hours to take. It was open book and he gave us the answers after we took it. So uh, we also did the safety um, study and took a test on that. Um, tomorrow I think we're doing air breaks. And on Wednesday we're supposed to um, take our permit test.
So we're going to start in. Uh, today we had to go and get to Walmart to get our sleeping bags and food and pillows and uh, things like that that we need that was in our other bag. So we had to get all that done because we don't plan on spending a lot of money here. Um, a lot of things that I've noticed is that there's people that's been here for like a long time. Um, some of them come and they go home and they come back and uh, they go uh, for two weeks or their trainer was in here and they got to wait for another trainer. And The good thing about CR England is that whatever location that you go to, you can stay at that facility for no charge. And also, if you go to the winter facilities, your um, family only pay ten dollars as well for medical. Um, the showers, um, they're out in uh, in the room with the men and in the room with the women. They have their own bathrooms and showers in that room, but with the couples. Um, there's a um, general bathroom and shower um, on either side and um, it's really quiet because there's not that many couples here and people come in and they go um, once we get our permit we'll start um, practicing in the trucks and uh, they'll let us be up as late as we need to to practice um, other than that that's pretty much it. Uh, we got our own lockers. Uh, we're able to put our food and everything in the refrigerator. Um, we're right across the hall from the ice machine, refrigerator, microwave, everything. And um, basically that's it. It's kind of late right now so I got to be up for training uh, for 6 in the morning so I'm going to lay down and uh, get some rest hopefully and um, let you know about um, tomorrow. So stay tuned, but so far um, it's okay. I mean, nothing that's out of the or ordinary and um, people are the nicest people. They walk around to speak to you. There's a convenience store uh, where you can buy stuff 24 seven and um, but so far, so good, and there's a lot of people that's very helpful, so you're not just walking around lost, and you got plenty of people to take you wherever you want, need to go. Um, it is like $5 if you decide that you don't want to take the shuttle or wait for the shuttle. The taxi takes you around for only $5, so, and that's up to four people, so that's like about $25 a person. But, um... If you have any questions about what we're going through, uh, we plan on um, being team drivers. We have not decided as of yet if we're going to be company owned or we're going to do the um, lease program. Um, we would like to hear more about it in detail. They did go over our benefits today with us, um, our pay, um, and some other things that um, they went over but so far like I say everybody's been really helpful so I'll try to give you another update tomorrow because I'm really 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 tired and talk to you later bye